To the rest of the world, Harajuku is probably the most famous neighborhood in Tokyo, the starting point for a dazzling array of trends. But this neighborhood is much more than its youthful denizens and their relentless pursuit of fashion. It also has one of the city's biggest green spaces, Yoyogi Park, on its doorstep. And moving in the other direction to Aoyama, one of the most upmarket pockets of retail in Tokyo. Visitors to the park should be sure to look in on an unlikely attraction close to the south entrance. The new public lavatories, designed by the architect Shigeru Ban, clean and transparent, they turn opaque the moment someone locks the door and glow like a lantern after dark. It is part of the Tokyo Toilet Project. 16 A-list creators have been commissioned to design public lavatories at 17 locations around Shibuya, making for a unique architectural tour. Harajuku is also home to Meiji Shrine, the Shinto shrine dedicated to the late Emperor Meiji. With its beautiful wooden Torii gates, century-old forest and long gravel path, it transports visitors to a different Tokyo. A museum of shrine artifacts is a recent addition, designed by top Japanese architect Kengo Kuma. Extra measures have been taken to ensure that ritual hand-washing can continue. The shrine has created an ingenious way for worshippers to clean their hands under running water that pours from bamboo. Close by is another very different Tokyo landmark, Yoyogi National Gymnasium. It was designed for the 1964 Tokyo Olympic Games by Kenzo Tange, one of the greatest modern Japanese architects. Its swooping roof recalls both an upturned boat and the roof of a Shinto shrine, and it is still in constant use for sporting events and concerts. Moving away from the crowds around the station is a Furi Ramen, a noodle shop which is known for its Yuzu Shio Ramen. The salty broth is given a sharp twist with a spritz of Yuzu, a distinctive small Japanese citrus fruit. Walk along Omata Sando and you'll see a lineup of designer labels in their remarkable architect designed homes. This famous stretch leads up to Aoyama, which attracts a more grown up crowd, drawn to the neighborhood's concentration of Japanese and international designer fashion. Orally is a young Japanese label making a name for itself in this well established fashion neighborhood. Designer Ryota Iwai is a man for detail, favoring high quality fabrics and clean silhouettes. The flagship is suitably minimal, designed by another young creative, architect Nobuo Araki. On a nearby side street is another boutique, Blumink. It's a pleasure to walk through its Bauhaus-inspired portals and enjoy the beautifully appointed interior. The clothes for men and women designed by the in-house team are all about understated luxury. Beyond the architecture and shopping, Aoyama has a strong cultural life too. Close to the exquisite Nezu, a treasure trove of Asian art, is the less well-known museum of the late Japanese artist Taro Okamoto. Perhaps best known for his brightly colored public sculptures and murals, the brilliant Okamoto lived and worked in this hidden corner for 42 years. A walk from Harajuku to Aoyama offers an inspiring selection of contemporary Japanese architecture and fashion. Look down a few side streets and you'll find the older style setters are as influential as ever.